<laughs> due to completely unforeseeable circumstances that no reasonable person could have possibly predicted. We no longer have rocks underneath our stairs. This is really embarrassing. It didn't last long. Nagi is usually a really, really good boy. He's never peed outside of the litter box, but he decided this was a litter box and he could not be persuaded otherwise. And we gave up. Our garden rocks have now been relocated to underneath our air conditioners outside where they can prevent weeds and Different fans for the AC and provide a nice fragrance for our yard of lemon and cat pee. So <laughs> the rock actually became very handy. Yeah, it, we needed to do something. It was at very least, helpful. At least it's being used. But Nagi has decided to be extra stubborn. So we also had to get these motion activated noise and spray tubes. And now we can't even walk in our Gencon to put on our shoes without turning it off temporarily, which is why our shoes are just like randomly thrown all the way over on the other side of the Gencon instead of lined up nicely. I have no one to blame but myself. I can't blame cats for this. I did this. I did this to us. Haku poki pichi don. Yeah. Also, some of you guys mentioned that the Benjamin cuttings will just start growing roots and I can plant a whole new Benjamin tree and it's doing great. <laughs> it's been here for like a month and it's totally happy. So that's cool. Also, in other good news, we have a TV again, which was paid for by our homeowner's insurance. It was a, a, a month like this. Can you tell that this leg is more swollen? Kinda. This leg has always been a little bit more swollen than my left one and turns out the appropriate response to noticing one of your legs gets more swollen than the other is not to go, huh, and just kind of ignore it for 10 years. Guess what? My veins are not in the right order. They're like this. I took a photo of the textbook. It's squeezed between two arteries, which is not great. Apparently that causes like your vein valves to stop working and then you get varicose veins and swollen leg and sometimes this leg just kind of gets sore. So next week I have to go to a vascular clinic and they're gonna use a laser to laser shut my vein because like the valves are not working and it's making my leg weird. It's covered by insurance, so that's kind of cool. It's gonna cost like $600, which I thought sounded like a lot of money for lasering something, but it turns out they have to put me to sleep. So it's like an actual thing. It's been a month, you guys. <laughs> so many doctor appointments. Pokey's got, he's taking more medicine for his bump again. Peachy's very healthy. She had a blood test and her teeth checked. Her teeth are, are good. Okay, anyway, let's go. Let's go upstairs. What I wanna do for this project is bash a hole through this wall and turn it into a cat door. Usually at night we have these doors shut, but of course that means the cats have to scratch at things to wake us up multiple times throughout the night. Usually me, cause I'm a very light sleeper. So I want to stop that. We have all of the plans for our house that I can check to see like where things are in walls. And also I asked our builder specifically and he said the only thing is that above our outlets, that's where the wires go. So our house is steel frame. In order to tell what's in the walls, we use this, which has a magnet. There. It'll be tight, but I think I can make it work. Yeah, look, that goes straight through. So there's no board, there's nothing. Apparently I'm not supposed to bend my legs like this because it's bad for my circulation. I have a level square. 20 by 20. It's a bit nerve wracking, but guess I have to start somewhere. Oh, that's easy. Oh, this is kind of fun, June. <laughs> if I just ignore the fact that I'm destroying our house that we worked really, really hard for. Oh, oh, oh. You can see the aluminum bars on the side. Straight down is more aluminum. So actually, I can literally just vacuum that out. I know what I can do. I can make a 20 by 20 square out of poster board and then at a 90 degree angle, make sure the bottom plate is level and then trace the outside of the square. I think I can do that. I made a thing to measure the square 
on the other side. I assume this is gonna be good enough. <laughs> hey, it's pretty level. Level enough. I forgot that I have to take into account the thickness of the board that's gonna go in here. So I actually have to saw this 1.5 centimeters wider on every side, which is just barely gonna fit in between the two bars. So kind of lucky. Unfortunately, it is time for my least favorite thing, which is going outside in Japan in the summer. I need to cut my boards. I decided not to have them do it at the store this time because I wanted to make things extra difficult and cut out the prettiest parts of the boards. So I need to do, I don't know, impossible fancy cuts that I definitely do not have the skill to complete. One of my dreams now is to have an air-conditioned workshop. Perhaps. That was a terrible cut. That was really, really horrible. In the time it took me to free cut this really horrific line, June has been bitten by mosquitoes like seven or eight times, so I'm gonna send him inside and I will sit out here and very slowly do actual cuts like you're supposed to. It took me a lot longer than it should have because I had to keep killing mosquitoes. These hands are bathed in blood. So I ended up having to do freehand for most of them because none of my lines or cuts were straight enough for me to be able to use a guide. So I just went really slowly and I'll spend all day tomorrow standing. I'm back from the doctor. Actually, I was back from the doctor yesterday, but I was kind of loopy and sore and I just rested a bunch. So today I'm back to work. I had my vein lasered, everything worked out according to plan. It stopped my reverse blood flow and now I'm just a little bit sore and I have to wear this for two to three weeks, but then all should be good. My next step will be making my box. I'm all set up here in my little corner. I've got all my tools. Cool. All nice. And I feel I feel very cozy right here. This is the side that'll be shown in the bedroom. And this is going to be the door. I'm only doing one door on the bedroom side. First question is, do you think it should go this way or this way based on the pattern. Oh, the pattern? Yeah. We'll, this is what we'll see in the corner of our bedroom. Show that way. I have once again donned all of my outdoor power tool gear. <sighs> People on the internet always look so pretty and everything goes so well when they do this stuff. And here I have to have a hazmat suit on and cooling things so I don't overheat. I just washed this, but it still smells like sweat. Real life is not what it looks like on the internet, you guys. <laughs> These are the not super great angles that I <laughs> hand saw. But then I figured out I can clamp them to this tool and then hand sand them and get them way better. Hopefully, this will fit through here. Oh no, it's not going to. Dang it! <laughs> I was so excited for this moment. Oh shoot. A little later. Let's try this again. That looks pretty level. Good job. I'd say I did an okay job you getting did a great this in job. here. So eventually, it's gonna look kind of like this. We will have a door here that swings open. How's it look? I can already imagine cats pushing their, yeah. pushing the door <laughs> by sticking their faces in. Oh. June. It's the 
the most important part of the project. <laughs> Will it catch on the sides or is it gonna work? I hear it catching, I think, on the top a little bit. Oh no. Ah. Okay, I need to cut more off the side. Just a little bit. Other than that, it'll work. It's just a little. I just need to cut off a little bit. Yeah. Yay! It's so cool! I'm so happy! I made a thing! <laughs> I'm proud of you, honey. I'm just gonna sand them down and get them even before I put some filler in. Time to make some filler matching the color of the frame. Maybe that was too much glue. This is probably the worst corner. I'm sealing this. The outside has been roughly sealed and the inside has been roughly sanded. So I think I can finally stick this in the wall. Oh, the truth. Oh, it's so smooth. <laughs> There we go. Right. I'll be right back. Ta -da. No, 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 what? no. What? It's not in the wall. This is so fun. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Dick stop. Oh my god, I made a cat door. <sighs> Oops. I mean, I still need to put the frame on the other side. And I think I'm gonna seal this with like a layer or two as well. Hi, Pokey. So Pokey finally went back to the vet again and now he's on allergy meds, which is helping his bump get a little bit smaller. I wanted to see if we could do allergy shots for Pokey since we know the types of things he's allergic to now. And guess what? Japan doesn't do allergy shots for cats at all. Just not at all. So that's not even an option here. Apparently, they have like very limited allergy shots for dogs, like one type of dust mite. Poor little cats like Pokey. Look at this. Do you want your cat to end up like this? Also, we have new mics. People have been asking us for a little while now if we might look into getting better mics. This is the type of audio equipment we had been using until now. I hate it. I cannot tell you how much I hate it. It's, look at this. Look at this, it's just gigantic. If we wanted a lav mic, each one had to have two of these things. And like, no matter where I put the lav mic on my body, it never worked right. It was always muffled and quiet. I hated it so much. It, it, the f it flames, flames, flames on the side of my face. Every time we recorded something with them and then got home and then I was trying to edit the video, I was like, I can't use half of this. Like the audio is so horrible. I got so frustrated with using all of our old mic stuff that for a while I just stopped using mics entirely because they're so annoying. But now they have these just like tiny, look, look. Yeah, yeah. Copy, over. I know, <laughs> they're gigantic. And everything had to have like cables. This is not sponsored, this part. I'm just really excited about this. And like, since people have been asking us, I was listening, I got something. Hopefully the audio on this video is a little bit better, better than anything I ever got from all this stupid, New expensive, tech. complicated <laughs> stuff. Anyway, thank you to Sakuroko for sponsoring today's video. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack box subscription. Every month, they provide 20 authentic and artisan Japanese snack items, including 
one tableware item and tea. This month's theme is Kyoto's Crimson Leaves. This season in Japan is called Koyo, when the leaves change color. It's a huge deal here. It looks better than this picture actually in real life. Yeah, there are, it's, it's that vivid. There are a lot of places that do light up at night. I've said this so many times on our channels. <laughs> this month's box is in partnership with Kyoto. So Kyoto is an amazing spot for Koyo. Gion is a district in Kyoto where sometimes you can see Michael walking around. Michael san you see during the day is probably a tourist. Ah, so ka. We've uh, eaten at a fancy restaurant there once. It was only because we didn't have to pay for it. Someone invited. <laughs> we were invited. Yes, we were cheap. The tableware. <laughs> oh, <gasps> what? It's a whole bowl. The tableware this month is huge. So this month's tea is Iemon Cha. I have to let it seep for one minute. They also highlight snack makers that they work with every month. This is from Sekiseika, the first factory that June went to visit. I still love all of their stuff. I'm so glad we still get them. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had hojicha like this. I think I like this so much because this does have an umami flavor. Right, June? Here, try. Tell me. You always tell me it tastes like senbei. Konkai wa chigao. Sorry, it's really hot. Does this one have a stronger umami taste to you? Am I making it up? I don't trust my taste as much as June's. <laughs> I have nothing to compare to, so I don't know, but it tastes good. I like it. I think this has a stronger umami flavor than normal hojicha. But what do I know? Nothing, <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, I want this yuzu dorayaki. White chocolate banana. I want to eat all of these right now. This is dorayaki. It looks like two pancakes with a white bean paste flavored white bean paste inside. This one is yuzu, which is a Japanese citrus. Of course it's delicious. Japan has a lot of citrus fruits and I like them in moderation with other things. This one is amazing. They also have white chocolate fruits banana. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. This is very similar to the white chocolate strawberry they had last month. June tried making this on his vlog channel. If you wanna go watch that, it was, I liked both for different reasons. I'm very excited about this box. There's so much in here that's super delicious. If you're interested in trying Sakuroko, you can use our code and link in the description box for $5 off your first box. It's not done, but we're at a spot where the cats can test it and I really wanna see. <laughs> I can't wait. So, kitties! I'm so bad at whistling, June. I need you to whistle for me. Oh, 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 he discovered it. June. Hi, Nagi. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay. Gotta push. There you go. <laughs> Pokey. Come here. Come here. Pokey. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, good boy. Maggie. Hi, Pokey. Pokey's good. He's food motivated enough. <laughs> Pokey understands. <laughs> Clearly. The other two kitties. Haku, Nagi! Okay. I'm gonna go on the other side. Haku! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I 
mean, that's one way. June, take them farther. Hey, come on, one more step. I'm gonna have to do something else. It's because he tried to reach the food. Yeah, they can get caught in it this uh -huh. way. So I need to reconceive the door part of this design. Obviously any risk toward our cats is unacceptable. If they stick something in and then pull it back, they could get stuck. If it was their head, they could like strangle themselves. That's super scary. Also, if they let it slam on their tail, it seems like that could hurt. So I think I'm gonna try to like cut my board into slats and then connect them so that it becomes somewhat flexible. Sorry, I'm gonna go off to the side. Crap, my board broke, I guess. Since it's already broken, I can go ahead and just pull this out. I think I can fix it, just use some wood glue. But for now, I need to, oh no, that's not even. Whatever. For now, I need to go cut the rest of these pieces. A few minutes later. This wood was not meant to be cut in thin slices in this direction. I need to do something else. I'm about 65% stop everything and cry for a while and 35% figure out what else I can do. So this is where we're ending our project. For now, I think this is a broken escalator situation where <laughs> it's not what I wanted, but it still works for the base function of what it's supposed to be. The cats can still go in and out of our bedroom. So it's not a complete failure. It's just not what I intended. I'll take some time to brainstorm and see if I can come up with uh, another type of door. I guess we started this video with a little failure and ended it with a little failure. So this video is a failure sandwich. But you know what? I always have failures with all of my projects. Most of them I'm able to figure out at some point while I'm working on it so I can still complete the project. This time maybe it's just gonna take a little bit more time, but I will come up with something. I still think it's kind of cool that I made a, a cat tunnel <laughs> through our wall. It's pretty cool. And it looks really nice without a door too. And you already came up with some ideas for the door. Okay. <laughs> our cats haven't been allowed upstairs in like three weeks. They're so excited to be back on the carpet again. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Okay, bye. Nagi's purring. Can you hear him? Why are you so happy, bud? He's so, he's so cute. Haku's laying right on the other side of this door. <laughs> I don't know why they're all so happy to be here in this one spot, but it works out well.